the Mount Appointment Ring, it was set up more or less as an experiment to see, well, I'll say the old core. They felt that if we were brought into the military, that we wouldn't be able to carry out the function. We wouldn't be able to hold up to the high standards of the Marine. And the experiment was really set up to fail as, as, as I see it now, because there were no, the highest rank at that time in the black part of Marine Corps, which was the one that was called colored, was Sergeant, Field Sergeant Major. It was a thought of the higher officers in the Marine Corps, ones who had the control and that there would be no, you know, no, no colored or no, no colored officers. But during that time, segregation was everywhere. The Mount Point Marine, this is what opened up the Marine Corps. Well, it was, it was a service unit and uh, actually it was set up to bring ammunition from behind, from, from, you know, up to the front lines. But the, the best duty I had on Guam was as a POW guard. I had a detail of 17 guys and I would take the 17 and go to the POW stockade and check out prisoners of war, the Japanese prisoners of war. And I would get anywhere from 200 to 500 men. And the other units on the island who needed personnel, you know, to uh, labor from the prisoners would come and check those prisoners out from me. Now here I am, a PFC, and I'm with all these men, and I'm there. I had to check them out, had, had to make sure of a head count before they go out, and had to have a head count when they came in. The Montford Point Marines were like a spearhead for all of this that opened up after that. And I'm, I'm, I'm really proud to be a part of that. Things kind of open up, it seems, for all branches of the service. President Harry Truman signed a bill to desegregate the entire military, all to all the military services. When I was drafted, I didn't think of myself as being somebody out front doing something that was really necessary and something that would be a part of history. But now I can look back on it and even though I'm a small part of that history, I can feel good about just being that little small part because I, 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 didn't, I didn't fire one single shot uh, during the war. But those silent shots that I fired are still being heard because I took the training and I'm a part of the proof that, as they called us back during that time, colored, that the colored could serve with the white.